Well, as we continue to celebrate Black History Month, we look back at a man who made history right here at WEWS. Tonight, I have a look at the career of Bill Jaycox, an anchor who forever changed television news here in Cleveland. TV5 Eyewitness News with Bill Jaycox. Good evening, everyone. This is the news. Bill Jaycox, Cleveland's first African-American anchor man, changed the WEWS newsroom for the better when he first debuted on the anchor desk in 1975. Well, the whole idea of news, I think, is to get uh, information to people so that they can make the best use of it. Jaycox started at WEWS as an assistant public affairs director before a 10-year run as anchor. Congressman Lewis Stokes brought a check to Cleveland today to help finance a health plan. Now this. Helping open doors for scores of black journalists while serving as a role model to viewers, especially in Northeast Ohio's African-American community. It just made me feel like I could actually put things into action and make things happen for myself and make a name for myself. Norman Barry is a local writer and longtime WEWS viewer. He says Jay Cox was a force to watch. Three Cleveland women were treated for injuries today after being hit by a hit and run driver. Grabbing your attention with his powerful, distinctive voice and exemplary reporting. Well, this network is not some criminal organization. The people are average citizens. Everything in the house would stop and we would sit down in front of the television. It was just an experience for me because he made his mark and let you know that he was indeed professional and good at what he did. To Barry, Jaycox showed that a black man could break through at a time when the industry was dominated by white men. And to see this individual on TV that looked like me at that time, was a big deal. Bill Jaycox recently turned 88 years old, and here at News 5, we honor him with pictures hanging in our halls. A small reminder of the monumental impact this Cleveland Trailblazer made on our industry, community, and society as a whole. This is Eyewitness News Brief. Good evening, I'm Bill Jaycox. The last state blitz is on by backers of the recall campaign against Mayor Kucinich. The deadline is tomorrow. Details at 11 on Eyewitness News.